Okay, next news. In Rajasthan's uh, Bharatpur district in India, um, doctor, thank you. Doctor refuses to admit pregnant women because she's Muslim. Her child dies after delivery. So this is terrible. Um, a government hospital in Rajasthan's um, Bharatpur district is under fire after refusing to admit a pregnant woman because she was Muslim. She was sent to a different hospital, and while on her way in an ambulance, she delivered the baby, and her baby died. Her husband said, quote, I was, as I was taking her in the ambulance, she delivered the child, but the baby died. I told the administrate, I hold the administration responsible for my child's death, end quote. Wait, how do we know it was because they were Muslim? Yeah, it was because they were uh, Muslim, because they were directly told uh, when they went to the first hospital, they were told, oh, no, you go to this city because you are Muslims. So you should go there. And while going, uh, the child died. OK, and Shubham, it, tell us more about yeah. this. OK, you, we already know how like uh, bigotry against Muslims is in India. But this, this is not just simple bigotry against Muslims. OK, so this is also connected to this pandemic currently because during this pandemic, where after the central government of india declared a uh, national lockdown uh, after that uh, this i think armin you would know this uh, organization uh, tablighi jamaat uh, do you know this uh, it's like uh, it's, yes. uh, they're like most yeah islamic organization who want yeah, uh, everyone to like time. Yeah, worship, uh, who want just Muslims to worship la just like uh, back in the old days during the times of Muhammad. Okay, so they held a meeting after the lockdown. I mean, just like religious people oh. all around the world, they think they're above law and order. And because they held, uh, held this meeting, they think like uh, the coronavirus is God's punishment. They held this meeting in New Delhi, which is the capital of course. And they think it's the it's God's punishment, and they should worship more now and everything. So many many people. I mean, that from uh, that uh, meeting, like it spread a lot in the entire country from those Muslims. And mm. so these uh, many Indians. I, I don't think most. I won't say most, but many Indians are just connecting like the whole uh, community, uh, the whole organization of Tablighi Jamaat to every Muslim here. And they're being just mm -hmm. even more bigoted towards them. They're just thinking like, oh, if they're Muslims, they could have just gotten the coronavirus from this Tablighi Jamaat people. So, oh no, we are not uh, interacting with them because we might get the virus too. And everything like this. So Me uh, I Melinda think- Go on, you finish. I think like a few thousand people uh, connected to the Tablighi Jamaat were quarantined after that meeting. A few thousand. So. Mm -hmm. Mel in the live chat is for asking, uh, do Indian hospitals have a right to refuse people uh, admission based on the religion, really? No, I really don't. I won't say they have because it's, it's still a secular constitution in the in the constitution is still secular so yeah, yeah but people a, go on there was a quote from the article so one of at least in the article it seemed like one of the people who was most outraged about this was the local tourism minister um vishvendra vishvendra singh um, he said, there can be nothing more shameful than this this is a secular state and the government is extremely sensitive about such matters um, he mentioned that action will be taken against the accused doctor in this issue. I mean, I can I can assure you that the government is not especially sensitive about these orders, but they're just saying this because it's like a whole thing, a uh, whole thing erupted. That's why they're saying this. But yeah, it is it is, it should be shameful actually, and it can hurt tourism. So they're obviously offended by this. And he also mentioned the doctor's name, by the way, Armin. He said that. Um, oh, oh, like the hand up. No, that oh. this um, minister Singh said that she was refused admission by a doctor named Monit Walia. And Monit I mean, he, Walia, yeah. Yeah, he, so he mentioned specifically his name. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if that, you know, we if there's confirmation on that. I mean, I looked this up on a couple other Indian um, 
newspapers and they were basically it was basically the same article just written over and over so it was hard to say and then also some of it was in you know hindustani or bengali or so i obviously couldn't read that but um yeah so i just wanted to say that he did mention a specific doctor all right so we have the hindu apologist showing up in the top comment section this is very interesting because I, I, I always know like when we have like something about India or Hinduism, uh, the Hindu apologists are always, we know they're going to be there. Like they're this, they're more reliable. Uh, they're, them being triggered is more consistent than Muslims, Christians, and Jews combined, combined, right? Uh, but let's see what first, um, Gerard is saying, stop spreading fake news. The woman was suffering from anemia and was recommended to a different hospital. The husband accused the doctors. Um, and Panit Pinit is saying this was the seventh birth. She had severe complications, which the government hospital wasn't equipped to handle. Hence was referred to a different hospital. The onus lies on the husband considering a high risk birth. He should have been proactive just because the husband accused the hospital doesn't make it the truth, the state is ruled by supposedly a secular party. Shrubham, or first Shrubham, and then Rivka also wants to say something. Okay, so first, yeah, the state is not ruled by the BJP. That mm -hmm. I'll, I'll admit, it's ruled by the opposition, the INC. I don't like them very much, but they are better than the BJP, of course. And it's true that it's uh, run by a secular party. However, I mean, it doesn't mean that the doctor was secular or there has, I mean, like I said, it's not the usual bigotry case. It's because of, it's also connected to this Tablighi Jamaat case. They think that uh, all Muslims, or most Muslims, if not all, are infected by the coronavirus because of that. And it's also that, uh, that is adding to their bigotry. So it's not just pure bigotry. Right. It could have been like in normal case, the doctor would, would have said, okay, just get in. But because of this case, he said, no. We cannot handle you. I mean, to be fair, we do have a lot of cases where Muslims, um, I mean, not all, hashtag not all, but there's many cases where Muslims are like, discrimination, it was because I'm a Muslim, right? Yeah, of right? course, of course. But, we, we hold on, let me, finish, like, let me, let me finish yeah. that. But, I mean, we don't know exactly what happened, right? So it, it's, um, it's he, should, he says, she said situation. Uh, the, the, the case, the situation, but in India, it's, Statistically, we have more Muslims actually being discriminated. Like we have fake ones and we have real ones, um, and there's no 100% way for us to know which one one of which one of these this was. But I can admit that there's no way for us to know if this was real, real discrimination or not. But I'm pretty sure a lot of Hindu atheists are 100% sure that this was not discrimination, right? So, uh, and this is like the 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 accusation is fake, right? So I can. I can claim uncertainty here, but the people that don't like the news, they're certain on the, you know, instead of like, oh, this is, this doesn't mean that uh, just because the husband is saying this doesn't make it true. Tr yep, I agree with that. But you guys are also now believing that this is definitely not discrimination and you don't have any hardcore evidence for that either, right? I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does actually right. because they they yeah. just go from uh, they just oppose one extreme and go to the other extreme. I mean, right. they if any even if it was a guaranteed proven case of discrimination, they would still say something that oh no, it was not discrimination. It's how it's supposed to be and everything. They right. just. Rivka, I wanted to say something. Yeah, um, I do want to say something that the commenter did make a comment about, and there is something to be said. It, there may be truth on both sides, because I noticed when I was looking up some other articles, like I said, the majority of them just were repeating it, but there was something that I found strange. They kept saying, doing surgery on this woman, something about her anemia. And I was like, well, wait a minute. Did she need surgery? I didn't see that in any other article. And then they also mentioned a specific type of anemia. And I'm like, well, where does that come from? They sort of threw that in there. So there may be both things going on at the same time. Maybe she was ill and needed something that that hospital couldn't give her because 
uh, the other articles just said deliver a baby. And then I see one that talks about surgery and anemia. And then there could also be somewhat. So there it could be a combination of things is what I'm trying to say. It could be the doctor wasn't equipped to do it and he was discriminatory or he was discriminatory and equipped or the husband was accusing him despite the fact. I'm not 100 percent sure because the information from the hospital side is almost non-existent. Okay, right. Rivka, so he, here's one thing. Uh, yeah, it could be a bit of both in this case. However, like you said, certain article, uh, some articles had this uh, anemia cases and everything, okay? And there are many out, uh, sites which are like controlled by the BGP or under BGP or they they act like spokesperson for the BGP and everything, okay? So they add a little bit of fake news to make it sound like it's not discrimination against Muslims and everything. Also, Many most of this uh, Hindu nationalists, these people, Hindu apologists, and everything in the comment section, they get their news from WhatsApp forwards. Okay, uh, the mm. BGP IDs will they just forward this random WhatsApp takes against Muslims and everything, and they just quote from that part. So it, it, it could be that uh, she never had it or she had it, we just don't know. I mean, because some articles mentioned it, some articles don't. I really need to see the articles which do because uh, I know certain sites which are like uh, fake news, which uh, and give out a lot of fake news. So yeah, I, and I, I don't know those. how to discriminate between that. And like I said, I did see some places. I was like, well, wait a minute, nobody mentioned this before. Now they're mentioning it. You know, so it's hard to say, especially for someone like me who doesn't know you know, what's what. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... Again, it is All right, let's... Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 